170 million or something one night. Uh, or, that, or, means, that was Quebec. Yeah. Um, but I mean a million, that was the one. Oh yeah, that's right, yeah. Here, yeah. Well, not too long ago. That's right. You're just waiting to see if there's another train out. That's right, I am. I think I'm gonna wait until this, uh, because this Route 11 technically should be pulling out in about 30 seconds. And Isn't uh, he due out at 27 the same uh, no, time? No, that'd be 11. I'm due out at 27. Uh, 11's due out at 29. 29 and 59. Yeah. So I guess uh, I'm going to try and wait for him. That way, it gives, uh, if there is a train, it'll give it just an extra minute to come in. And if I'm leaving and the train, I see the train, I can swing around back in if the 11 is here. Mm -hmm. If not, though, you'll just do... You must know their schedules well. Oh, here's the the crossing now. What's up? Here's the crossing arm now, eh? I just saw it go down. Oh, that's for the one coming uh, northbound? Yes. Oh, okay. Just so you know. I virtually never get anybody off that train, though. But I mean, never hurt, yeah. It's always southbound. Oh, uh, yes. That's right. I don't see a train, so... Yeah, that's Tuscany, so... You know what, when I got my YouTube videos, like the most recent ones I recorded all the way from Shaughnessy to Tuscany, then all the way back to Fish Creek, super long video. Wow. So you've been out to Tuscany, have you? Yeah. That's a really nice view of the mountains. You know what, we should go out there some day. Sometime, yeah. Like, if we plan our day right, we have a big day. That's right. I'll eat before I leave the house. Yeah. Or we can go downtown and get something, doesn't matter to me. Or, or Tuscany, anywhere. We got an EMS over there. Yeah. Just warning you. Oh. But if you're something that you're not enjoying, oh, it takes geez. forever. Absolutely. Isn't that the truth? Oh. Like by the end of high school, George, I was worn out because that's a 15 year school career. That's right. Yeah, for me it was, uh, about the same. Yeah. I had a 10 hour day at school once. Wow. I did. Arrived at 8.45 in the morning, didn't leave till 6.45 at night. Oh, oh yeah, that was a train there. Oh well. You'll make yourself like almost 10 minutes late if you wait for that one.
guess what I found on the internet? One of the really old Jimmys. Oh, okay. 811. You driven that one? Uh huh. Yes, I have. It's one of the blue ones. It's one of the larvae blue ones. The only larvae blue Jimmy left is up at Spring. Didn't like that, Jimmy? Well, they were old buses. Those they they, they were old. You could really rely on them to be a workhorse all day. Oh, yeah, as far as that goes, yeah, but 811 was just okay. Some of the 700 series were better than that. Excuse me. Oh, sorry. Thank you, guys. Let's get awfully quiet. Thanks. Welcome. You'll be in Bravo with a couple minutes late, but it's fine. Oh no, no, actually, I'm right on time. Yeah. Oh, and you even left a couple minutes late. Yeah. But this acceleration of this bus helps. Oh, well, that's it, exactly. Imagine if you had 38 today, you would definitely be late. Yeah, that's The brakes on the bus yesterday were a little touchy. Oh, they, were. they were still good. You just had to apply pressure. Great takeoff up the hill though. Yeah, that's it. How were the jimmies getting up the hill? Oh, they were slower. How about the mid-size? The mid-size had no problem. I never experienced a mid-size, Jimmy, so you're saying the front end lift up off the ground almost, eh? A oh, bit. Yeah, that's right. You can feel it rise when you, when you have to floor it, okay? But if you floor it on takeoff, yeah, you can feel it rise. So up the hill, it would have no problem. But if... 20 foot saw a uh, 20 foot jimmy in a full size motor it makes sense that's right see i felt the transmission when you shift a little there but this tranny is pretty good in this bus eh? it's it decent awesome. Just so you know, this is my last trip with you for the day. I'm getting off doing 14. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I'll, I always check what bus you're gonna have in the day on that Transit 55. Oh, you're gonna write me a check? No, no. Oh, you do travel. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> the Transit 55 is awesome. Oh, right, yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's a live bus tracker for Calgary Transit. Wow. So I know what bus you're going to have. Oh, wow. Do you have the number again? Yeah, the fleet number. Times of schedules where it'll be at a certain yeah, okay. point. Okay. Like for example, it'll be at Fish Creek Lacombe at 1657. Oh, okay. You'll be at Fish Creek around that time next sign up, right? Uh, there'll be a half hour difference from now. Around five o'clock then. That's right. Uh, 
You mean Bravelwood? Yeah. I'm talking about Fish Creek. Oh, you'll Fish be, Creek, yeah, 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 you'll be there around yeah, five. Yeah. Yeah. Right, yeah. ridership This is where you drop Kim off, right? Yeah, that's right. The SO. Yeah. It should be almost done by now. Uh, no, it's only 541. No, not until well after 6 o'clock. 6.30 about. Yeah, that's right. What would Cliff be doing at this time if he was up? Would he be on the bus with you or out collecting bottles? Uh, jeez. It varies. Like now he stays on the bus with you longer, right? He does, but sometimes he'll go to Walmart or something. Honestly. You now get a lot of traffic around here very often. Thanks for the rides today, Dad. Have you driven, um, I know you've driven 7730, have you driven uh, driven 7830? Yes, that I have. So you've driven quite a few 78s. Oh yeah. You don't, like I say, you don't get them a lot, but uh, pretty much every one of them. All the, almost a lot of the 7700, 7800. Because I've been here so long, and every day you get a different bus. How about 7799? 
It was on Route 76 just the other day. Okay. $79.99. Is that bus still around? I imagine. I guess so. It's probably stored at Anderson. Yeah. They probably have a couple 77s in there that they're not using. They're just stored at Anderson, right? right? Yeah. I do you think a few seventy sevens are there right now? Are there right now? Uh, which ones? A few seventy sevens are at Anderson right now. I imagine. Huh? I don't know. I never get to Anderson at all now. But I imagine they're parked there. Like I never see ninety eight or ninety nine out at all. So I imagine because they were out just this year right. in May. So. What are they doing with Anderson Garage then? If it's uh, shut down the bus, are they renovating it? Are they? I, I, I couldn't tell yeah. I don't know either. They never renovated. Well, you think because it's shut down the buses, they would start renovations and start fixing it up to put seats in there? And then they can move the buses to VP if they want. Some of them. Yeah. And like buses like these can get stored there. It's kind of redundant to shut Anderson, like Anderson drives down and then not renovate or do anything. Thank you, Jerry. You're very welcome. Traffic through here is quite the thing tonight. When's your grandson coming over? One thing I like about these older 77s and the early 79s is the leather seating in them. Oh yeah, that's it. The Excelsiors don't have leather seating. Oh, right. Oh, George, I'm talking to Janelle on the phone tonight. Oh, okay. So I'll tell her you say hello. loads did you get on 15 when you drive it? Probably some good loads. Um, uh, depends. Like, the 15 used to go to Bridal one at one time. And, uh, then I got a good load going to Bridal one, but otherwise it was very quiet. 
Why did they leave a big bus sign then? Just because you got that one lot? Even now with the school hours, like I was on it a couple times in September here. Fully loaded bus. Yeah. Um, Our Lady of Peace School in uh, Millwright get hit with a uh, quite a number of kids there as well. So it was necessary to have a big bus. And then take it offline. I think the last. Trip on 15 big bus even now is about 6:15. Yeah. Then they big bus all day years ago. Uh, even late at night, eh? That's right. Yeah. You got a load when you were doing 14, boy. That's why it remains a big bus all the time. Oh, yeah. Like before. Uh, before everything hit at 7.30, you would be in a single bus 7.30 at night and still get half seated, half standing low. I was looking on the internet. Eventually, eventually they went to, uh, they went to uh, put in a community west of Bridalwood called Providence. Uh, that's gonna be about 35,000 people or so. And when they do that, eventually, now this is years down the road, they're going to put a, a bus in um, from Brandonwood Station out to Providence. According to the, uh, internet, according to the internet, it will be uh, limited stops. And so it'll only have like maybe two stops or so from Brandonwood Station. And then go right into Providence, straight in. Uh, west on 167. So it would be Providence, whatever, right? Uh, yeah. That would probably be the name of the bus, Providence, and then have another. Like, for example, maybe. Yeah. I don't know if that will change, but that's the way it was. That was just a couple of years ago. Maybe the Bravel would express because it's so busy. Uh, yeah, that's that would be a good name. Well, that could be a very busy bus. We might have to have an articulated bus on that because if you've got people going into Providence, but you can have people going into Bridalwood that could walk off that bus. Oh, and then you got the school kids getting out at the same time. Right. You might have to at least do our three trips with an accordion. That's right. So that 14, all together, the Providence one and the Bravelwood one, that the Bravelwood takes you all around the Bravelwood community, then the Providence, that whole Route 14 all together will have to have like eight buses on. Yeah, that's right. Oh man, back in September there, yeah. they had to put that accordion bus on 14 because of the school run, right? Certain 14 buses would do 14 Bravo with, but it would be a school run first. Like, wherever school that Group 14 meets up with, Calgary Transit would get called to do that one, and that bus would sometimes remain on 14 for the rest of the day. Yeah, that's right. Then the accordion would come in. Yeah, exactly. And back in September there, that accordion was jam-packed full. Yeah. So sometimes buses are called to do multiple routes in one day. Yeah, right. That's their schedule. Yeah, that's right. 
Like for example, I checked where 7766 was in the afternoon and it was on um it was on uh 41 and 36 Linkwood. But this morning it did 114 Bravelwood run, then it did Copperfield. So four routes in one day. So it went off, but then did 41 and 36. So four routes in one day sometimes, kind of like what you did with the same bus. Yeah, that's right. You did 12, 15, and what was the other one? Uh, let's see, I did the uh, route 14, then the route 15, and then the route 12. But yeah. It was, it was nice because the 14, when I came to Bridalwood, I pushed, uh, did punched in the 15 before I got to the station. So I did two trips on the 15, and then when I got to uh, Fish Creek Station on the 15, I changed my sign to do the 12. So it was really nice the way they had it. And then when you would go off at the end of the night, how does that work when the bus goes out of service? Do you wait for a signal? Uh, no, somebody uh, was relieving me then, but uh, no, you don't wait for a signal. If it says out of service at a certain location on the running board, you just go out of service at that location. Yeah. But does the sign automatically change itself? Um, oh. Like, how do you get the out of service sign to come up if you're still 15 mil rise? People are still gonna get on. Uh, to answer your question, no, it doesn't come up automatically. You have to punch out of service. There's a way to do it on uh, the computer. Right, but also on the Route 14, uh, the sign will. Pulling into the other side of Bravowood, so you know it's by the shelter there. Right. But the sign automatically changes itself. But not if you're going out of service, you have to punch that in yourself. Yeah. Or off. Or off, right? Right. You don't have to just punch out of service, you can just punch in off, right? right. Off next bus, please. Yeah, exactly. Or when you're coming from the garage, yeah. like what 96 and 92 do when you're coming for the garage, you can punch in a route when it's your time to go into service, right? Yeah. 178 would still be running right now, right? Oh yeah, absolutely, yes. On his final trip, right? Uh, that's very right. yeah. But do they always go out of service at Bravo one day, the 178? Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, they usually haven't come back to the station and then it's out of service. Anyway, George. Oh, you got that one just recently. Yeah. Just give me a second. I just want to see if she's got next to Yeah. Uh, Today has an extra cool cushion. I don't believe it. Yeah. Thanks for today, George. Yeah, no, thank you for coming out. Okay. Oh. Have a nice evening. Yeah, you we'll too. You I'll be either at Bravo Wood Fish Creek or um, 
Shaughnessy. Okay. I'll film you. I'll film you take off here. Okay, sounds good. Bye, George. I know you're expensive.